What is going on CDL fans? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we have the graphic on for Roster Mania. We have some new news that I figured we should go through to a little update video, probably a pretty quick one, and put some new rosters on the sheet. So obviously the Seattle Surge confirmed they will be sticking. We already had them on the on the, the page, obviously, but they have confirmed they're running it back with their roster for this coming season, which is good to see because obviously, I mean, top three at champs, you know, they did end up winning a major last year. Definitely had an inconsistent season, but you got Pred and Sib going into their second years. You know, you still got a really solid roster. So definitely happy to see that. Another interesting thing coming out of Jacob Hale. He's a uh, writer and reporter for Dexerto, but also is a pretty notable and pretty reliable leaker when it comes to like Intel on the Call of Duty League, which um, I've heard from a lot of different people. So uh, it actually says that the sources are telling him Beans, Where's Beans on here? Am I blind? Did I have, where did I have Beans? I could have, oh, it's right here. Uh, Beans is actually headed to Boston um, to possibly, they don't know if it's gonna be a starter or a sub spot, but Beans is apparently headed to Boston. I don't know what position he plays, to be totally honest with you. I think he, I think he's like a flex kind of guy. So maybe Awakening isn't happening anymore, but Beans is actually supposedly going to Boston, um, but nobody knows how he's going to be playing or where he's going to be, you know, if he's gonna be a sub or a starter. So definitely notable to, you know, know that Beans is a, uh, I'm gonna, I'll just put him right here for now, just for the sake of having him out of the way and putting him up there. So yeah, Beans headed to Boston. And then Jacob Hale, this was just 40 minutes ago. So this is, you know, this is hot. And 40 minutes ago, as of 8.30 a.m. Central Time on September 2nd. So, you know, this is early morning, September 2nd for uh, the, for the U.S. Uh, but it actually says that uh, Vickle and Brack, and I believe Major Maniac, or Vickle, Brack, Major Maniac, and Havoc, are the confirmed or looking to be confirmed roster for the Florida Mutineer. So let me move out Nasty and Gizmo because apparently that's not happening. Let's slide over these dudes, the Vickel and Major Maniac. And then we have Brack and then we have Havoc. So this is definitely an interesting team. We've got two, you know, star challengers players from this past season coming in alongside a strong veteran leader in Major Maniac, as well as another veteran player in Havoc who has been in and out of the league, who actually has played for Florida in the past, so has some ties with the organization, um, can play your route man aggressive SMG role. This team should definitely be interesting. Like I said, I don't really follow challengers too, too much. I know some of the big names. I don't necessarily know what they're good at or what they're, you know, what they're not good at. So I believe Vickle is an SMG, Brack is a flex. Um, so it should be interesting roster here. I like that they're going in with some of the high potential, high quality challengers players. I think we've seen in the past that bringing in these players can definitely work. So it definitely is good to see Florida, a team that's kind of been mid to low end table team, sort of in the standings, trying to take a shot on some challengers players. And then obviously Dave Patty is also on this team, but he is, you know, their sub player. I'll slide him in the background right there. It's looking like he's going to end up being the sub. If they're bringing a major maniac, they're definitely not going to be bringing in uh, Dave Patty to uh, obviously also play with him since they're both main ARs. So I think this roster is interesting. If I had to give a prediction on how I think it could do, I think at the high end, this could end up being like a top five, top six team if Vickle and Brack are, you know, really, really good in the pro scene. At the bottom end, this could end up being probably the worst team in the league. So we'll see what happens with them. But, you know, I think it's exciting to see some new phases coming into the league. So now what we're really left with is kind of a mixture of who knows what's really happening um, if we actually look at the teams, confirmed teams pretty much are the Atlanta Phase, uh, obviously Optic Texas. We also have the Minnesota Rocker. Do you have LA Thieves? Flor uh, Florida obviously isn't fully confirmed, but we're going to pretend they're confirmed based on what we've been seeing. Seattle, LAG. So really what we're coming down to here is we need confirmation from really NYSL, Paris, and London are like the big three that we don't really know enough about. You also have Boston, who kind of has a lot of leaks and rumors surrounding them. So we're kind of sure about what they're doing. Same thing with Toronto Ultra. So we're kind of down to our final five teams out of the 12 in the league that we need to know more about. I think it'll be interesting to see what ends up happening with Nasty and Gizmo on this London team. You know, maybe they don't bring in Wardy and maybe they, you know, do like a Gizmo Nasty SMG duo or Paul Moose SMG and Gizmo saves on flex. I don't really know what we're going to see there. But for now, we'll just move Wardy down there. You know, a lot of great players down here. We'll see what ends up happening with all these other teams. But it should be interesting, and hopefully we'll learn more soon. Thank you all the time for watching this video. If you did enjoy, drop a like and subscribe. It's a free way to support the channel and support me, and I would greatly appreciate it. And with that being said, hopefully you did enjoy the video, and I will see you all in the next one.